yeah so welcome back guys uh, this is madhav pvl and uh, today in this video we will just know or uh, i'm just going to give some information regarding uh, campus recruitment training in klu university so i just want to be clear what is the crt and what are the uh, outcomes of this particular training and all those things so let's get started so now uh, let's just get in detail so uh, let uh, let us start from beginning so after btech what a person can do so after btech uh, he can either choose mtech or mba or if we just choose um, something for foreign programs we can just see like msc and mba so for this uh, all the things we need to just know some of the basic details like uh, for getting into these universities or colleges we need to write some exams like gmat gre toefl i let's uh, please ignore if the spellings are wrong so for this exams there is no requirement of such things like uh, physics chemistry and uh, computer science subjects and all those things so the basic things which were required for this uh, are aptitude uh, and then english and uh, most probably these two are enough for some of the exams for mba but sometimes a basic engineering skills so basic engineering skills the subjects which were related to first year most probably they will ask some questions from that so these are the things which were required uh, for writing up those exams so now uh, why i am discussing all these things so to write this exams uh, we need to have some training so we can choose this campus recruitment training so it's campus recruitment but it is telling like it is a recruitment training but uh, why are we just choosing it for ms so campus recruitment training consists of english skills and then aptitude and then coding skills and this all will be discussed in this campus recruitment training so as we can see these are the things which were required for the above exams right so these are uh, discussed in this campus recruitment training itself whereas in bonus we will get this coding skills which were required for campus exams so recruitment exams where we require this coding skills so campus recruitment training is not only for the purpose of the students who were uh aiming for doing a job so campus recruitment training is completely used for both the people who are planning for ms and also for the people who are planning uh to stay here and do some particular job so it is for both ms and jobs so it is required for both campus recruitment training will work in either ways so in aptitude we will just learn some skills and english and all those things so now let us just know what are the things which were involved in kl university so kl kl university so in kl university basically we are having uh, some of the platforms uh, which were giving us trainings so basically we were having ccc uh, i think when i am in second year they gave us coding training they gave us coding training ccc and now we are dealing with being zero and now i am in third year they are dealing with english aptitude and also coding so they are dealing with this all things so being zero is dealing with all the all these things and also with the help of our college uh we are having a prep insta subscription which is of uh, i think most probably it is of uh, 2000 or 1500 like that per year but now we are getting it for 400 for four years so prep insta is completely used like a online tool online training so it is used in home online training in home so these are the th three uh, platforms which were providing us campus recruitment trainings until now and then uh, these being zero people will just explain us all the english soft skills and aptitude and even they will just help us in uh, if we just consider the job roles uh, job requirements 
for a job they will just take uh, an assessment test that is basically coding and then uh, they will just consider the resume review like they will just uh, uh, consider the resume and then uh, they will just uh, ask us some questions if required and then they will just get into this uh, technical interview and then uh, HR round which may have uh, this discussion I think uh, it's like group discussion uh, and then they may also ask some personal questions they may give some situations and then uh, they may ask us to answer so all these things will be done in this uh, job uh, interview rounds like uh, to get a job we need to qualify all these things so finally we will just get placed into a job for all these things uh, we required some of the English skills so English is nothing but not only knowing about the grammar and all those things so we need to just know the body language of a person who is just applying for a job so those all things will be discussed in this English and even the group discussion sessions and then uh, situation answers and all those things will be discussed in this being zero English and soft skills training and then uh, when I'm very happy to say this these are uh, even used for MS also F so for MS also we MS requirements also the same as I discussed it above English for everything English is very important this will be discussed in this uh, being zero and all those things and whereas uh, if we want to just work on MS we need to just have some research papers so research papers are the most important requirement of uh, uh, getting into uh, prestigious universities in foreign so now uh, in KL University I am very happy to say this I am the first batch which, uh, which was receiving support from the college for writing research papers so we were assigned with some faculty and we need to work on uh, research papers which were belong to our domain like I belong to artificial intelligence so I, I write paper in this artificial intelligence we are four members with two mentors as most of the faculty in KL University are doctorates uh, we were working with them and uh, we are working on uh, writing a research paper and we are the team of four members we are, which are having uh, two mentors so this is a thing which I just wanted to discuss these are the requirements of the MS so I think uh, most of the colleges will just allow the students to learn on their own but uh, KL University is providing us so many opportunities like uh, we can just uh, work on this research papers uh, with the help of our mentors and this will be very easy for any student to just get all the things at one particular place so while completing the degree BTEC we will have uh, some five global certifications like Azure AWS and I am working on RPA and also some of the others like uh, Cambridge English I just uh, I had just known this thing from my seniors so they will be writing some Cambridge business English exam which is used for the uh, campus recruitment also so we will be rating all these things and uh, these are some of the global certifications and many more are there but uh, I am just not aware of those names but we will just get so many global certifications and uh, so we will be ready for both job and masters I am very happy to say this we will be ready to do anything we want so it's our choice whether to choose uh, for going to a job or going to masters and also we will be having some placement training where they are conducting exams in exams examly portal so in this portal they will just uh, connect the uh, co conduct the exams so these are uh, some of the exams which were being conducted in this examly portal and as i had said before prep insta 
so we are having a prime account and this prep insta prep insta is used it for the purpose of our preparation so we can have even use this thing uh, for our preparation so this will have some courses so we can just get through this courses and learn languages and even we can learn aptitude and reasoning and uh, we are also uh, working on different company based exams also company based exams also are available in this particular website so prep insta is used in this way and then uh, the ccc and uh, they will uh, ccc and being zero will work on different um, physical uh, sessions which were being conducted in our college so finally i just want to say is kel university is concentrating on both job and higher education not the single option they just want to work they want to just excel in both the things so i just want to say this thing so um, i just want to make a video how my third year and how my second year has been done and how my third year is going to be so i just known this information uh, recently so i just wanted to make a video so i think this made some sense uh, and i will just try to um, upload this whole thing in the description so you can just check it out there so thank you for watching please subscribe to works of the college for regular updates and educational content thank you for watching